if I was sipping all in, yeah. She was probably thinking about me. Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to cover Black Jeep. This is actually my four-year-old daughter's favorite song, and there is a reason why she can sing the entire verse and scream the entire chorus word for word with Peep, um, because it's a true testament to the fact that Peep really understood the simplicity of writing a really good, um, catchy melody with a nice, basic vocal filler. Peep was really good at this. He understood the simplicity of music. He didn't have to go out of his way and really just make this complex theme to his music. Um, like I told you guys a long time ago, you remember children's songs when you were a kid because they had a really catchy melody and they had really basic lyrics. Peep was just really good at this, and I think he knew how to incorporate it into his music. And whenever you're doing stuff like that, it's just your music becomes so much easier to absorb. I also think this highlights the fact that when Peep decided to rap in this kind of trap formula style era, he was probably better than anyone else at it. I think when Peep decided to rap in this kind of style, he was probably better than 90% of people that do it every day themselves. I think it's a very um, underrated element to Peep. It's just how good he was at rapping. When Peep decided to really rap and turn up the knob on his urban artistry, I think he was fucking brilliant and underrated at it, and probably better than a lot of people think or know. Um, even though Magnet and Coldheart have equally amazing parts on this song, it's really hard for any musician to be able to keep up with Peep in this kind of uh, setting. This kind of musical atmosphere is really handcrafted for Peep to succeed. Um, you could have put anybody to run with him on a song like this, but with a beat like this and a melody like this, I think anyone in the world would have almost appeared to look like they were on this childlike level of musicianship when Peep entered the room and put on headphones. I just think there are certain songs where Peep will succeed effortlessly. Now, the first thing I want to get to is the harmonies and the ad-libs, because that's really the meat and potatoes of this song. Uh, the fact that Peep really understood the importance of a vocal filler in a harmony really just shows you how much of a brilliant songwriter he was, because much like Lane Staley, Eddie Vedder, Kurt Cobain, uh, Bob Dylan, John Lennon, I could keep going, uh, much like those guys, they understood the importance of harmonies. The fact that I just mentioned Peep with that kind of elite level of caliber musician is mind-blowing, but Peep does deserve to be there with those guys, rightfully so. He was a brilliant um, songwriter who was ahead of his time and was good at handcrafting timeless melodies, um, and so were all those guys, so that's why Peep deserves to be there. But much like all those guys, Peep knew that sometimes it's the small things, sometimes it's the little things, it's the small details that really can just have this highlighting effect and really just make the entire song itself pop. Um, I think Peep was also really good at double tracking. I think this is a perfect testament to show you how good Peep was at double tracking his vocals. And for the people out there that don't know the engineering side of music, what I mean by double tracking is laying down your initial vocal take and then just going back around and really just fattening it up and just tightening up the entire mix with a nice fat widened vocal lay. Peep was really, really good at this. Um, there's just some musicians who are really good at double tracking and really just filling in the blanks and really just connecting all the dots when they do their second loop around. Uh, I also think that's important because he did this on the chorus. The first half of the chorus really has this smooth, calm, casual kind of uh, cadence and then on the second time around it really just has this real loud alternative like harmony dynamic and that's what really makes the entire chorus pop and stand out is when Peep comes around in the second half and really just enhances it with this really nice fat harmony. Um, the fact that my daughter can sing the ad-libs more than the verse itself shows you that Peep understood the small things really make songs pop. If you listen to the verse on Black Jeep, Peep's little ad-libs in the background outshine the verse itself. Um, I just think when Peep made music like this, he was fucking untouchable. I really wish this was a song I got to see live, too. I wish there was a live video of this song somewhere, because just the fact of how good the song is, and the fact that Peep was r literally a fire performer, um, it just would have been something beautiful to see. And again, uh, I don't want to take anything away from Magnet or Coldheart, because they had really good timeless parts, but I just think uh, they didn't stand a chance uh, with Peep doing sections like this um, with zero effort and rendering a near-perfect result. 
I just think it also shows you that when Pete wanted to experiment with other genres of this style of music, he was better than a lot of people would ever think he was. And it just shows you how many options really were there for Pete. Um, he could have explored so many different roads in this path and this journey of his musical career. Um, sadly, he passed away untimely, but it's songs like this that fans can really dissect and really look at under a microscope and be like, wow, this kid was fucking amazing. And all his artistry and musicianship was surpassing a god tier level. Um, this song is just so fucking important. Uh, it was produced by Captain Crunch and Better Off Dead, and I think this was along the line of the gas sessions. I think it was in a similar timeline, so it just would have been really interesting to see how much music is really out there from this time period, and I really hope they don't change the production on anything that is going to be released soon. This song is fucking amazing. I love Black Jeep, and my kid does too. And I got a couple white girls on me And I got a couple tight girls on me Hey, red black jeans and an all black jeep And I got a couple black girls on me